James Hubbard was born in Wyndham, Norfolk in the summer of 1992. He is part of a darting family, with his father Vic being a former pro who qualified for the BDO World Championship back in 1986 and after 17 years away from major events, returned at the 2003 UK Open. Vic played in the next three UK Opens before retiring from PDC Dart and working full-time as a painter and decorator, which James eventually began to help with. James made his PDC Development Tour debut at the fifth event of 2011, where he was beaten in a sudden death leg by Co Stompe Jr. He returned to the development tour at the seventh event where he got a whitewash win before being whitewashed himself. In October 2011, James managed to secure a spot at the 2012 PDC World Youth Championship by winning the qualifier at Riley's Norwich. The rounds up to the final of the World Youth Championship were played in November and Hubbard started well with a 5-1 win over Michael Enns in his first game. He then beat Matt Gallup 5-3 to set up a third round tie with the now well-known Dutchman Dirk van Dijvenboda. Hubbard managed to beat DVDB 5-4, setting up a quarter-final clash with former World Championship semi-finalist Jamie Lewis. Hubbard managed to win this in a sudden death leg once again, setting up a huge semi-final game against Paul Barham, the tournament's number two seed who had won four development tour events in that year. This game was massive as the winner would progress to the final which took place on the Premier League stage ahead of the final and was televised on Sky Sports as well as receiving both the two year tour card for 2012 and 2013 and the spot in the 2011 Grand Slam. However, this pressure did not get to James and he was able to win 5-2 to get to the final, where he would face none other than MVG. The final of the World Youth Championship did not take place for nearly half a year, so Hubbard got on with the other events which he had qualified for. First up was the Grand Slam, where he was drawn in a group with Steve Beaton, Mervyn King and none other than Phil Taylor. Hubbard's first televised game was a dream tie against Taylor, with James being just 19 at the time. He was beaten by the power, but managed to pick up a leg, checking out five by going double one, single one, double one. He went on to lose 5-1, but said that he was confident that the televised experience made him a better player. Hubbard then faced Mervyn King, one of his practice partners, on the next day, and the game was close at 3 all in the early stages. After Hubbard missed the dart at tops to go 4-3 up, King took out 62 with two double eights to go a leg away from the win. King secured the win in the next leg. Two days later, Hubbard threw his highest average of the group stage at 95.98, but he still lost 5-2 to Steve Beaton. However, Hubbard managed to throw his first televised 180 in this game. He was eliminated as the bottom place finisher in the group, whilst Van Gerwen managed to win his group. Hubbard then competed in some Players' Championship events and UK Open qualifiers, with his best run in one of these events coming at the final UK Open qualifier, when he went on a run to the quarter-final, hitting a 1-5-7 checkout in his sudden death decider to win his last 16 game. This was Hubbard's final event before the World Youth Championship final, with all eyes now on the O2 arena. Let's put this final into perspective. Ahead of the game, Van Gerwen had already hit a televised nine data, won the Winmore World Masters and won a senior PDC Pro Tour title. This was also his second World Youth Final after he was the runner-up to Aaron Monk in the previous year and he had won four Development Tour titles in the 2011 campaign. In contrast, Hubbard was yet to win a PDC title of any type and had only reached one development or final where he was whitewashed. Therefore, MVG was the heavy favourite ahead of the game. However, it was Hubbard who got the better start, holding throw in the first leg with a brilliant nerve settling 11 data that featured a 180. Van Gerwen missed the dart at tops to win the second leg, 
giving Hubbard three clear darts at 32, which he checked out in two to break the throw. In the third leg, Hubbard checked out 81 in two to take a dream three leg lead, meaning that he was halfway to the win with MVG yet to win a leg. But the Dutchman managed to get his first leg in the next leg to close the gap. In the fifth leg, Hubbard hit double 10 with his last dart in hand to go two legs away from the win. In the next leg, Hubbard began to show some weakness, missing five darts at double, allowing MVG to take out 48, making it 4-2. The combat continued in the next leg, with MVG breaking Hubbard's throw with a brilliant 102 checkout. However, Hubbard broke back in the next leg, taking out 51-2 to get within a leg of the title, and in the ninth leg, he took out 41-3 with MVG sat on 30, to become the world youth champion. Hubbard won £10,000 and looked delighted in front of the huge crowd after impressively averaging 95 in the final. Two days after this huge win, Hubbard added to his PDC title tally, winning his first development tour event. After losing on his UK Open debut, he managed to secure his spot at the world match play, qualifying on his last chance by reaching the quarter-final of a Euro Tour event. Following this game that secured his spot at Blackpool, Hubbard shed a tear on stage after an emotional achievement. Hubbard's first round game in Blackpool took place on his 20th birthday and he was drawn against Wes Newton. James got a decent start, winning half of the first four legs, but he went on to lose 10-5 with a decent performance that saw him hit five 180s. Hubbard's next televised appearance came at the Grand Slam, which his World Youth Championship win got him in. However, he once again lost all three of his group games and finished bottom of the group. He managed to qualify for the Senior World Championship at Ali Pali at the end of the year, where he was drawn against Richie Burnett. Burnett won the first two sets in just six legs, before Hubbard went on to win the next two sets, making it 2 all. This game went to a tie-break, which Burnett managed to win 4-2 to take the game 3-2. 2013 was a much tougher year for Hubbard, with him being unable to get past the last 32 of any ranking event. He was also beaten in the first round of his World Youth Championship defence. However, during the year, he was still able to pick up a televised win, beating John Scott 5-2 in the first round of the UK Open. In the next UK Open, he had a televised rematch with MVG. Hubbard did manage to win the second leg, making it 1-0, but Van Gerwen then won eight legs on the spin to make it 9-1, showing the difference in the player's progress following the World Youth Final. However, a month later, he managed to beat MVG on the way to his first Players' Championship semi-final. He ended the year ranked 74th and so lost his tour card. He played in Q school but was unable to get past the last 16 on any day and was unable to regain his card, which he has never got back since. In 2015, he played on the Challenge Tour and Development Tour but he only made one quarter final and lost in the second round of the World Youth Championship. He did appear on the Euro Tour at the European Darts Trophy who was beaten 6-1 by Roby John Rodriguez. His final PDC stage appearance to date came on the Euro Tour in the following year, where he lost 6-2 to Max Hopp in the European Darts Grand Prix. He decided not to go to Q School at the start of 2019, stating that he was not enjoying the game anymore and wanted a break. He went back to Q School in 2020, where he was unsuccessful and then made a good start to the 2020 Challenge Tour, reaching a semi-final in the third event and a quarter-final in the fourth, allowing him to return to the Pro Tour as a reserve at some place championship events during the COVID-19 affected year. He hasn't played in any PDC events since the end of 2020, but recently teased a return with this tweet.